Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today, I'll be giving you a look at another figure from Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens. This time around it's the villain that we see in Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. And the figure that I got for you today is a figure that I purchased uh, about a week ago at Toys R Us. I picked him up for £10 which is very good for Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens figure and the figure and the character that I got for you today is indeed this guy it is Kylo Ren from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens now I'm really really pleased that I managed to pick this guy up Got for a great price as well. Before I start this review, I'd like to give you a look at the packaging that this character comes in. This is the packaging for Kylo Ren. As you see at the top, you've got an image of Kylo Ren, an image of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Got an image of Kylo Ren at the side. The artwork on here is really really nice. He does come with a small accessory as well. On the back you've got three images of the figures. You've got Captain Phasma, Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren. There's this accessory that comes with Kylo Ren. If you collect all three figures with all three accessories you can build them together and create one big accessory so that's very cool. And overall, I'm a massive fan of the uh, Force Awakens packaging, and the artwork on here is brilliant. So, thumbs up to you, Hasbro. So that's the packaging. I'm not going to give you a look at the accessories because it's not much to look at. It's just a tiny little thing that comes with it, so does don't need to bother with that. Onto the figure itself. As you see, Kylo Ren, he does come with a bowl jointed head and swivel head, a swivel left arm, a swivel right arm, a swivel left leg and a swivel right leg. He does come with his red lightsaber like so, casted in a silver and red plastic. I just read something online that Kylo Ren did make this lightsaber for himself and he made this lightsaber because it would be different to any other Sith Lord and Jedi lightsaber so that's really really cool to know so that's his lightsaber nicely done the figure in question is really really nice the hood is sculpted really well and his face is sculpted really well. On the back, the detail is absolutely brilliant. I love how Hasbro have done the detail in here. It does come with shredded and cut marks to say that he's been in action. Really, really nice how Hasbro have done that. And even though, it, even though it only has five points of articulation, the detail is really, really nice. Onto the front, doesn't look like he has big biceps. But he does uh, come with a belt buckle as well at the front. The belt buckle is cast in a silver plastic, but the belt itself is cast in black. At the side, you've got the uh, cape and the uh, trouser leg sculpted to the cloak, so that's very cool. It's the same with the right leg as well. But even though, it, even though it only has five points of articulation, this is a really, really nice figure. Really pleased to add this guy to my collection. And Kylo Ren, looking forward to seeing this guy in action in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. So this has been Kylo Ren from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I'll be back with another Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens review
So I'd just like to say thank you for watching guys. Thank you for taking some of your time to watch my reviews. And I'll be back with many more very soon. If you're watching my videos or checking out my channel for the first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe and spread the message about my channel. So until next time, keep collecting, I made a full review.